I want to say a huge thank you to all my supporters who provided the funds for supplies, food, gas, anything else that I needed. You guys had it covered. So thank you so much. Your names are on the screen as my appreciation to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It is 2.50 in the morning. We are leaving Miami and heading for New Orleans, Louisiana. Hurricane Ida is forecasted to become a major hurricane category four status. And we are 849 miles away from New Orleans, just past the Florida Task Force One, which is comprised of the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. They're heading to the Gulf Coast to assist in the aftermath of the hurricane. This area is about 300 miles east of New Orleans, so hopefully we don't have trouble finding water and our essentials, basically. I think I've got everything I need. All right, we're about 90 miles from New Orleans and they've got the tanker truck refueling. Not much of a line here. Check out these gas prices. So cheap compared to Florida. Guys, check this out. We are in Mississippi and the evacuations are crazy. I've been seeing this line go on since I was in Alabama. It does not end. And I'm sure it goes all the way to New Orleans and even beyond. The good news is we are just an hour, 20 minutes away from New Orleans. The highway billboards have come down in anticipation of extremely high winds. All right guys, we are officially in New Orleans. We're in the downtown area. I think this is a hospital parking garage, but my goal today is to scout out the best location to be when the worst of the storm comes. I'm way above the street, so any storm surge will likely be limited to the first or second floor. Also, I'm above the tree line, at least uh, up until there. Okay, this, this might be fine. Let's see if it's open. No one's here. All right, I don't know what the hell I hit. I think I drove up on the curb, and since my car is Kind of low. Here's the Superdome. We're now making our way towards Bourbon Street, which is where they host the famous Mardi Gras parade. Here we have a restaurant that is boarded up. This is one of the many locations boarding up. New Orleans is alive with a potentially catastrophic hurricane coming tomorrow. There are still people coming in and checking into hotels. Here is our third garage, which is the Dave & Buster's garage. You do have to pay by phone, but I, I don't think people will be enforcing it later on into the night and into tomorrow. But this is the view with some buildings over there and also buildings in the distance. So if you want to check damage, there's also a billboard there. Birds are chirping. It is 7.34 p.m. We just had dinner. It was a good meal, honestly. I found a place really nice. Hi guys, it's gotten to that point where it's the end of the day. It's around 9 p.m. now. The worst is not expected until sometime early tomorrow morning where impacts will be starting. I'm just in the back seat of my car. Got the windows cracked and it's still hot as hell in here. There's no way I'm getting sleep tonight. It is currently 11.21 p.m. Just spent about three hours in the car trying to sleep, but I can't, so it's like we're going down. Something about the, the silence uh, in such a big city is weird to me. That, that brief Heavy rain with some wind caught me off guard. I'm not gonna lie, it caught me off guard, but thankfully, this is the entrance to my palace. <laughs> the entrance to where I will be. Let me give you guys a tour of just how great this spot is. First, a thumbs up the fact that I don't have to stay on the floor that I am, at least until the storm surge comes in. I can roam around into the edge and not get wet. I have this backspace right here that is currently unoccupied. So I'll obviously have this gap, that gap, the one over there, and the one here to look out and film everything. If things get too bad, I have two options. I can go to the center, away from the edges. This part is my favorite. Or, I can go right in here. 
completely protected on all sides. I want you guys to look at this hurricane. Look at that eye. And look at where I currently am, right there. Right there where that outer band is hitting. Good morning from New Orleans. Today is the day. Unfortunately, the hurricane did not stop intensifying overnight. So right now it's currently seven miles an hour shy of being a category five storm. All right, we're about an hour to two hours away from the center of the storm reaching the southernmost point of Louisiana. But right now I'm getting those vibes like, oh, is this even gonna pick up at all? And same thing I, I questioned last year. It got pretty bad. It was, uh, the storm surge was crazy, the flooding was crazy. Making my way down the blocks and standing inside one of these areas. that busted and almost took me out way up there. I want to say a huge shout out to the local station here. I was stranded somewhere and they gave me a ride. We had like branches flying everywhere and it was right on the street actually. Uh, we're talking with Joel Franco. He's visiting from Miami. He's actually an independent videographer. Guys, a piece of metal just fell off. And I assume it's the roof of this garage onto a tree. Oh God, oh God. Let's hope it doesn't fall on the car. You see all the rain coming off the side of the building. We got a powerful gust right now, powerful gust.
setting in New Orleans and the winds are still violent. It's gonna be a lot harder to see. It's going to be very dangerous for me to be standing at the edge when it gets completely dark. Guys, the entire city of New Orleans is without power. There was a catastrophic failure of the grid and including this garage, no power. All the electricity that we see now is entirely generators. I just changed into some dry clothes and uh, as I was using my phone, I realized that my service is no longer working. So it looks like the cell towers are down, at least for AT&T. The winds are still packing a punch. You can probably still hear even through the car being closed. It's gonna be a long night, guys. If you made it this far in the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Hey guys, it's currently 11 p.m. I regained signal, but it just went away again. Feels enough for me to say that I'm okay. After spending almost two days inside a parking garage, I just discovered there's a bridge that connects you to a hotel. It is eerily silent. I'm not sure if anyone's here. I've just been sitting around and relaxing. It's warm in here and it's pretty cold out there, so. It was nice. Guys, check this out. A piece of the ceiling actually came down during the storm. It's almost 4 a.m. I decided to check things out because it's no longer raining. It's just a little breezy. These are the pieces of aluminum or metal that I've been seeing and hearing during the worst of the storm. Here's the art structure that I saw in the middle and it's all the way over here now in pieces. guys I just woke up second night in the garage hopefully my last time to survey the damage we have the back glass piece of a bus stop completely shattered on the ground I heard this during the worst of the storm too we have a lot of debris scattered around we have I think this is metal or aluminum this thing was flying a lot around at night this is a art piece that was over there and now it's over here. The entire city is without power. Looks like we have a street light on the ground. Here we have some billboards that probably should have had their advertisements off. No, man. There is a cell outage in the area. And that guy just asked me if I had service. I do not, I have not had it since last night. So yeah, the billboard, this one nearly came off completely. This one actually came off completely. These were bent out of shape. And then this one is completely off. I had an idea when I first got here and it was to take before photos because I would need to take after photos in case things got real and they did get real. And so I'm gonna put the before photo I took of this downtown skyline from the garage and I'm gonna put the after photo and you'll notice this collapse during the worst of the storm. Also something I couldn't see from that vantage point, the entire backside of this building is on the ground. Here we have all of the local media interested in this building structure that completely collapsed. I believe it was two stories tall. After noticing it collapse last night, I noticed a light flashing continuously the entire night. Now we know what it was. Walking away from the collapse site, there's bricks 
scattered all across the street. Looks like some sidewalks are blocked by snap trees. Got a couple of signs on the ground. These are some cars that were left in this surface lot. Fortunately, we didn't deal with storm surge or devastating floods. But uh, the consequences of leaving it during an intense hurricane is this. We also have another one where its window got blown out. Looks like the National Guard is here and ready to assist. Driving through one of the neighborhoods now, away from the downtown area, and you can see a lot of the electricity poles are tilted. Check this out, guys. It looks like part of the lake came in and stranded a couple of cars here. At some point yesterday, at least up until you get to the top point, this was underwater. I'll show you guys. Water is still choppy. There's actually water spilling onto here, which would be the shoulder. I'm gonna end the video here because gas is something I have to preserve. All the pumps are off, there's no power in the entire city. I don't know at what point the electricity returns and the gas stations have fuel. I don't have signal, so this is probably worst case scenario if I run out of gas. My heart goes out to the people of Louisiana. I'm fortunate enough to have a home to return to and have comfortable living conditions to return to. And that, I don't know, I just, you guys saw the damage downtown area of New Orleans, but there's the rural areas, there's the, the neighborhoods that I didn't really go into. Uh, there's uh, the ground zero where the hurricane made landfall that people have been tweeting addresses because families need to be rescued. And the storm surge, the water is covering homes. So people are on the rooftops or in their attic. It's just a terrible situation. And I don't even, I don't even know what to say. So yeah, I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming along the journey with me. I know this is a, probably a long video. Hit the like button just for this wild ride. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I post a lot of adventurous things, crazy things, newsworthy things, such as this one. And hit the bell button if you wanna be notified for my next video. I'm gonna go get some rest and a warm meal, hopefully. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.